Hey there, Ed McCormack here, founder of the crypto education platform, Dechained. Today's video, I'm gonna tell you a few different cryptocurrencies that you need to watch. But first, talk about the underlying driving force that's pushing these cryptocurrencies to triple digit returns in the month of July. And what we're talking about is the intersection between play to earn in the gaming space and NFTs. And we're gonna talk about all of that right now. So as I mentioned, one of the fastest growing trends in cryptocurrency and blockchain is this intersection between this new play to earn model in gaming and the NFT space. And ultimately it's leading a lot of investors away from very profitable areas in crypto, such as DeFi. We'll talk a little bit more about why these investors are heading over, but first let's just give a quick little disclaimer here, which is, the cryptocurrencies that I'm gonna talk about, I've either owned, currently own, or may sell in the very near future. The reason I wanna put that out there is, this has you know, been a very profitable area in crypto, and of course, this is something that I do in order to earn income as well. So I've been investing in areas that have a lot of growth, and ultimately, the end goal for me is to not make money off of you and to pitch different cryptocurrencies so that you buy and I sell. That's not my intent at all. My intent is to share different cryptocurrencies that can ultimately help you generate some big returns. So just putting it out there that I either have had a vested interest or I currently have a vested interest in some of these cryptocurrencies. So with that behind us, let's talk about first, what is play to earn? And this is a relatively new model that is being powered by decentralization in blockchain. And it works like this. The more time you spend inside of these games or the more levels that you're able to achieve, the more rewards that you're able to earn. And those rewards can either come in the form of the native currency for that game or through NFTs. Now, with that being said, this is not per se a new type of offering or model. If you think about you know, some of the games that really have been a, a genesis of this whole NFT movement, it goes back to games like World of Warcraft and Counter-Strike, even some mobile games that live on the App Store. But the difference is that those games are overseen by single organizations, meaning that at any time, they can make decisions that could dramatically impact your experience with the game. And that's where there's a big divide between how does the world of gaming evolve where the power is being given back to the players and ultimately there's an opportunity where there's a new ecosystem that the players and the gamers control, whether it's being able to earn more rewards and that could come in the form, as, as I said, of achieving different levels and being able to trade uh, in these different marketplaces, or very simply, you know, being able to sell different products and services that you create in these worlds. And we're gonna talk about that right now, which is here are three different buckets that you need to be thinking of in order to capitalize on this intersection, uh, play to earn and NFTs. And the first area that you should focus in on are these games that are focused on breeding, creating, training different characters. Think Pokemon. You try to collect as many Pokemon or monsters, train them, build up their powers, and ultimately you have a way of then trading these characters or any of the benefits and, and weapons that they create amongst each other. And some of the, the leading games in this space are being backed by some big names such as Mark Cuban. In particular, Axie Infinity, AXS. And this is one of the cryptocurrencies, regardless of sector or category, that has been absolutely on fire over the last couple of months. And Axie Infinity, AXS, has ultimately sparked new interest in other games similar to the concept, just like Revomon. Similar in style where you're ultimately hunting out, hunting down and finding all these little different monsters and ultimately training them Revo, which is Revomon, is quickly becoming a 
sleeping giant, a potential huge investment opportunity for gamers and investors alike. The second area that you should be paying attention to are these role-playing games. Now, this is where you start to see games like Crypto Blades, which is traded under the acronym SKILL. Or you start to see MIST, which is traded under MIST. And this is a area where as you earn different levels and spend more time, you earn you know, more money and ultimately more rewards. But what's interesting here is that this is an area that a lot of investors are looking at as a potential way of diversifying their crypto portfolio. And let me just unpackage that for a moment for you. So if you think about where a lot of profit has been made just in the last 12 to 18 months in the crypto world, DeFi is probably, you would say, leading the pack. There are other areas, but DeFi, just in terms of volume, the amount of people involved in the returns, is certainly one that is hard to beat. The problem, though, is that despite being you know, in a decentralized environment, a lot of DeFi projects, if you look at the numbers, are highly correlated with the movement of the S&P 500, of the stock exchange. And that creates a very peculiar situation because if you're looking for a way to diversify your portfolio in crypto, which is not dependent on the stock exchange, you have some limited options here. And this is where gaming comes in because regardless of where the market goes, up or down, you have hundreds, if not billions of people around the world who sit down at their home and tune into their games and, and start playing and interacting with other people. It's a way for them to release at the end of a hard day's work and just simply to socialize, especially as we saw over the last year, year and a half with COVID-19 and quarantine. So this is an area that a lot of investors are simply looking at as not only a big commercial opportunity, but also as a diversification opportunity. Then the third area revolves around these virtual worlds and virtual lands. And you see a lot of big name projects also getting a lot of heavy hitters in terms of investors starting to back them, whether that's Decentraland, which trades under Mana, or one of the, the newer uh, games out there, which is called Starlink, and it's traded under S-T-A-R-L. Also, one of the fastest growing cryptocurrencies in the month of July. And these are virtual worlds where you can either sell off land or you can actually sell off space on this virtual space space orbit, space probe, whatever it is. Uh, hard to explain what those things are. The other piece, the other cryptocurrency you might also want to look at is sand. Similar to mana, where you're actually building up your land in these virtual worlds and then selling it off. So you're not just buying up a plot and then selling it just like you would do real estate. You can actually develop on it and then sell it off. So these are big projects that, again, are returning triple digit growth just in the last you know one to three months. So certainly put them on your radar. We're not going to go too deep into each of these games, as you could tell, because we're not in the in the interest or space of doing game reviews. But I hope you found this helpful in terms of writing down a few different cryptocurrencies that you could dig deeper into. And of course, do your own research. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and of course, tell your friends. We're always looking to grow the DeChain community and we love your support. So until next time, happy and safe investing, and I'll speak with you soon.